Good morning, folks. We're watching plasma filaments dance on the North Pole of the Sun. You'll see they grow pretty tall. Got a bunch of stuff to discuss today, and it will all be linked for you below, which means you just scroll down after the video is finished to find a list of website links used for this video. We do that every day so you can check these for yourself and dig a little deeper. Some more plasma filaments, seven solar tornadoes processing over the limb and out of sight to the backside of the sun. Speaking of the backside, I want you to watch the far right side, the corona. Do you see it ripple? We'll show north and south twice each so you catch it. The outside atmosphere of the sun, the corona, shows a jolt flash. Watch the sun long enough and you know that's a backside CME ripping away from our star. The eruption took place on the opposite side of the sun from Earth so we don't get to see anything except the plasma cloud expanding away from the sun. Nevertheless, even on the backside, the interplanetary magnetic fields were surged enough that high energy protons are now surging towards Earth. Not yet near a storm level, but we'll keep monitoring. Well, what about the Earth facing side? We've been in B and low C flare range for a couple days, but just this morning some flashes are returning in 131 angstroms. The biggest one was a C8 this morning really stands out next to the weaker activity of the past days. But it is just the solar flare, no CME. We should probably expect some more, however, as we've got some small active regions developing all over that do need to be watched. But right now, the potential lies in the big dog, beta gamma at least, as the positive spots are separated by red, and likely darn close to delta as well, with the magnetic interaction trailing back from the lead umbra. North of that big sunspot group, we also have a number of plasma filaments still on the disk. These pose an equal, if not greater, eruption threat than sunspots today. Something to note, cosmic rays are a touch on the high side this morning, according to Bartol. We're at 101, and I've only seen us hit 102 on one occasion. Solar wind, still dropping down slowly. No magnetic storms yesterday, and a calm is settling in at least here on Earth it is. That's a big coronal hole down south, one of the best defined equatorial extensions of a polar coronal hole you can see. This one is 100% unrestricted by the blue coronal magnetic fields here. It's got some power up to the tip as well, facing Earth this week. The uptick beneath our feet should continue. Already seen two above average quakes and a volcano erupt. Well, here's another one, Colima in Mexico. Luckily, the locals know what they're doing. Eyes on all of it, as always. So, what the heck is this thing? This is magnetism affecting phonons. A landmark study out of Ohio State has said Merry Christmas to us New Electric Universe Theory proponents by proving a long-standing tenet of the electromagnetic hypotheses. Magnetism can control heat and sound waves. This is something that could change how we understand the universe. Happy Saturnalia right back at you, mainstream. In the climate discourse, let's chalk up the 100-something example of how the sun impacts our atmosphere in a way unconsidered by climate scientists. Soft x-rays penetrate further than UV light. We've also got linked for you an animation by the SVS on a 2013 lunar meteorite impact. The before and after pictures on the website might also be a good EU discussion point. Wink. United States still got a Pacific flow with the Canadian border out west, but the big story is the storms. That low and convergence still persists in the central states, and the heat, moisture, and energy associated with this flow coming north is all that's needed for severe storms, and maybe even tornadoes. Be sure to check your local forecast around lunchtime today for updates. Don't want to get caught sleeping on this one. Of course, what makes it past the first blockade is met with freezing air, which also comes down the west side of the system. Freezing rain and snow alerts here as well. Same concerns here as yesterday, the convergence off the Icelandic low, and then the low pressure down south, which has moved eastward into the Mediterranean from its position near Spain yesterday. Convergence is cresting the UK today, Ireland as well. Weather shares, please. Down under, we've got cyclone remnants in the north, a low shearing off onto New Zealand before official landfall, and a low wrapping a rain band back up across the southeast coastline onto the mainland. You'll see all three of those notables here. Got your current conditions and shots of our star to close, and scroll down and get your click on with the linked sources provided. Eyes open.
No Fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.